ओपन ए रिसेंटली अनाउंस द एप्स इन चैट जीपीटी यूजिंग एप्स एस डी के एनी वन लिटरली एनी वन कैन इंटीग्रेट देयर एप्लीकेशन डायरेक्टली इन टू द चैट जीपीटी सो हाउ इट वर्क सो बेसिकली यू आर हेयर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज कैनवा यू कैन जस्ट टैग कैनवा एंड आस टू क्रिएट एनी थिंग हेयर देन इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग एल्स यू कैन एड मोर इन टू इट हाउ डू यू एड इट यू कैन गो ऑन द सेटिंग्स यू कैन सी दिस इज वी हैव एप एंड कनेक्टर नाउ राइट नाउ आई ओनली हैव द कैनवा बट आई कैन एड मोर लाइक कोर्सरा आई कैन सिंपली कनेक्ट एंड यू कैन सी इट्स नाउ कनेक्टेड दैट मीन्स इफ आई कैन गो हेयर आई कैन क्लोज दिस एंड नाउ वट आई एम गोइंट टू डू आई विल से कैनवा एंड आई कैन से कोर्सेरा and i can say booking.com wow that's great so booking.com is not yet connected so i can go once again here and connect the booking.com also so this is how you can add your own application directly into the chat gpt right now you cannot publish the app so that everyone can use it but you can create it integrate into chat gpt and test on yourself publishing the app to everyone will coming very soon in chat gpt so let's start and see how you can build your own app and integrate into the chat gpt right there using the amazing protocol called mcp hold on you can see almost 93% of the people just watch the video they love the video but they are not subscribing that's sad for me but this is also benefit you because if you subscribe and hit the bell icon you will get the notification next time i create something awesome video on the ai field for you because these videos are benefiting you your career and advancing you in the world of ai so go and hit subscribe button and don't forget to hit like button for more reach and i'm not saying right now just watch this video and at the end if you feel this video this channel is helpful for you hit subscribe and then start learning the very first thing you need to do to get started building apps for chat gpt is go on the icon of your chat gpt the login icon then click there click on the settings and then here you need to go on the apps and connectors and then scroll down at the bottom you will find advanced settings now at the top you will see developer mode and you need to turn it on once you do that if you see the chat is having this orange border which define that you are in a developer mode and now you can start publishing app for your account only as i said publicly available applications will be announced soon but right now you can test it on your account only now let's once again go to the settings and go on the apps and connector this time you can see at the top we have a new button called create now if you click on this create button then you will get this kind of form which says new connector you can provide the icon the name and most importantly you need to provide the mcp server url and from here it will going to get the tools available which you can call directly from the chat gpt conversation and have task done obviously if you want you can have the authentication or provide no authentication you need to trust this application since we are in developer mode we are just building and then we can press the create so to start with this the only thing we need is an mcp server so how do we create an mcp server and how do we learn more about this apps in chat gpt for that we need to visit the apps sdk this is a place where you will get all the information about how you create the app what are the guidelines what are mcp server how you can integrate it everything is here but i'm not going to bore you by reading all that thing what i'm going to do i'm going to just search for mcp uh, i'll search for fast mcp now this fast mcp is really nice tool which you can use to build the mcp server in just minutes and we are going to do this and once we have this then we can simply connect this to the chat gpt and start using it to get it started with fast mcp we can see on the left side we have this installation guide 
So click on the installation and we can start by using the UV. Okay, so if you don't have the UV, then quickly get it for your system. It's a really nice tool and it's a really faster than the PIP. Okay, so let's go here and I'm going to create a directory called test MCP and then I will say uh, CD into test MCP and after that I'll say UV init dot and then I will open this with the cursor. So first it's done and here we have the basic bare minimum with the UV. So you can see we have this main.py where we have all these things. We have Python version 3.10 and pyproject.toml which describe the project information and the dependencies. Cool. Once we have this, then what we can do, we can simply say source, uh, we don't have that. So we can simply go back and say UV add fast MCP. So let's go here, run it, and it has created the .env file, and this is how it activated. Now, if it's not activated on your side, then you can simply say source dot venv bin and activate and remember this dot venv is managed by uv we have not done anything and that's the power of uv now once we have this fast mcp available then we can check the fast mcp version so let's go and run this and very soon we will see the version related information is here that's cool now what next we need to start building our MCP server. So just like if you have experience with the fast API, we can first say um, MCP is equal to fast MCP. So fast MCP and we need to import this. So from fast MCP import fast MCP. We have done that. Now our MCP is created and now we need to add this to the tool. So we have to just create a simple function and we call this function an add which accept two things a as an integer b as an integer and it's returning also the integer and finally we say that hey this is this is a, a plus b returning. But since this is going to be a tool, we need to provide the metadata for this tool, which is like add to numbers. This is useful for the AI when the, when the AI is calling this tool. Now you can add this tool like this MCP add tool and we define the name of the tool. And finally we run the MCP. Now, instead of running like this, if I go here, you can see we have a quick start we can have that and we can run this like this so if the name is main then run the mcp server so cool that's great now we can use uv to run main.py it's the name of the file we have remember this is the name of the file and hit enter once we hit it it says hey you have something wrong here uh, function has no attribute key Hmm. So we need to say new MCP. Is it new MCP or let's see. Uh, okay, so we need to define the name of the MCP server. So we say my MCP server. Is this the one which needed? No, it's not that like this. So what happened is it says tools need to be added in a different way. So you can see here it's a decorator not using a function. So instead of saying like this, we can add mcp.tool as a decorator. That's done. Let's try one more time. And yes, you can see it's here. Now, we don't know what is the URL. Is it localhost 8000, localhost 3000, what that? If you go once again on this MCP, um, fast MCP server, here you can see it says transport is HTTP and port is 8000. Let's copy that. And instead of running through UV, I'm running through fast MCP CLI directly. Now you can see it says my server.py, but we don't have the my server.py. What we have? Yes, we have the main.py. So instead of this, we can just switch to main.py and now we have localhost 8000 slash MCP. Now if I open it, 
uh, I get some kind of error, server error not acceptable because this is not runnable through directly get request. See, this is working. So we have the MCP server. Now, how do we know that this is actual working and having the tool, everything is right? Let's try this in the chat GPT and go to the chat GPT. And once again, we need to remember, we need to start from here, click on the icon, click on settings, go on the apps and create connectors and click on this create button. And here we have this and we can add some icon. So I have this image and I say test MCP. Here the MCP server URL, we paste it. We don't need any authentication. I trust this application and click on this create button. Okay, let's wait for some time. And now it says unsafe URL. Whoa, that's not good. So if you go on the app SDK here, if you go on the left side and set up your server and if you scroll down yeah, maybe I say ng rock yeah so expose a public endpoint now we need a public endpoint localhost doesn't going to work so we can use the ng rock so let's use the ng rock and then add that URL ng rock public URL into the chat GPT app now if you don't have the ng rock then you can install through brew if you are on uh, Mac and for Windows ng rock is available through download like this so like so Windows yeah something like this great so once you have the ng rock then you can say HTTP 8000 now since I have to run this and localhost 8000 is working now I open the new terminal and I say ng rock HTTP 8000 now it says hey you need to authenticate the ng rock key you need so I will click on this to copy my ng rock key and then I can simply export ng rock auth token so ng rock auth token and something like this now once this is done then I can click and run it so this is the URL which is a publicly available URL and can be used. So here we need to simply say it's a slash MCP and yep we get the same uh, response as we were getting on localhost slash MCP. So this is great. So now since we have the public URL let's go to the chat GPT once again. Let's click on the icon setting go on the apps and connectors. Then click on this create button. We have this, have the icon, which is this. Now test MCP, click on paste the MCP server URL. We have the description optional and authentication is none. Trust this application and click on create. And hopefully this will going to work. And if it is working, then we can use our tool in the chat GPT conversation. And that's going to be the mind blowing thing which OpenAI has done. Woohoo, you can see it's now there and it's added and it says MCP and little dev is written here which says it's in developer mode and it's not available publicly but you can use it on your account. Now, if you click on this MCP, test MCP application, you can see we have the disconnect, we have the delete option some information we pulled and here are the tools available. Now I have added the add tool. You can rename it and can change it or add more. Now it's the time to really try this in our chat GPT. I'm really excited. So add two plus five using and I'll say test MCP. Oops, it's not giving that. So I can reload. And I say at the rate test MCP. Yep, it's there using test MCP tool only. Now, this is like precisely saying that use the tool from the test MCP. Now it's looking up for the tools. It's now calling the tool. And here we have the test MCP. Here is the details it has added. So A is two, B is five. And finally we get the return. So first I need to 
confirm the action and then tool calling will be performed and we will get the answer from the tool only so let's wait for this and yes we get the seven and there is a question how we know that this answer is coming from the tool and not from the chat gpt's or ai's own intelligence let's go and make something crazy so i was going to add 20 on this just to make sure that the answer is coming from this so i need to restart the server to make this changes and have it and here i will say try again so this time it's again going to try Again, going to call the tool but instead of getting 7 we should get the 27 and that will going to confirm that yes it is getting the answer from the tool calling and not from its own intelligence so yes it says tool return 27 but now it says mathematically it's 7 that's how the apps in chat gpt works and how we integrate it but the apps in chat gpt is not just limited to the text it's more on that and it's beyond just the conversational thing so if you go on again on this uh, what we call it app sdk on the sidebar you can see we can set up the server we can build the ux so we can have a ui or ux where we can show the card we can show the form a lot of things we can authenticate for our application like authenticated person so if you are creating a let's say to-do list and you want to show the to-dos for the authenticated person only then you need this kind of things and OAuth 2.1 is used by the open ai then you can use the persistence state so state also need to be there and a lot more amazing things have inside this app on chat gpt now let me know in the comment section if you want me to work on next app which is having a nice ui maybe a card maybe a form but it's only when you comment below and like this so if you have commented on this you will surely going to see the next video or maybe next after next will be for the apps in chat gpt with the ux or maybe with authentication or maybe with the persistence state so again if you like this video please go and hit subscribe like this video for more reach and see you for the next video till then goodbye